Good day, good day. How you going? That was good timing. I just ran out of spray. I ran out of enthusiasm for this job. Oh, does that mean the bush bee man's up for it? <laughs> God, I've got so many lives going on. I don't know who the hell I am. <laughs> it's winter time here in the Riverland, as you've probably gathered. Although, you wouldn't know that, because if you look up here, we ain't even got a cloud in the sky. But if you had a thermometer, you'd know it's a bit wintry, because it's bloody cold. But anyway, so come the end of the season, we're out here spraying the blooming leaves off the tree. Now, you wouldn't think you'd have to actually spray a tree to get the leaves off, would you? But we have to, because they don't want to go to sleep otherwise. And we want to get all the leaves off so as that they don't carry the disease into the next season. Because what we're looking to get is these little buds here. See these little buds that they've already made? So come late July, these will have some little flowers. Some of these will sprout little leaves and some will sprout flowers and you'll have this great big ball of white fluff, pretty much. And the ladies are gonna come out of their bee boxes and go, holy shit, it's paradise. Hopefully, so then they can get some neck, no, they'll get some pollen and we'll get some nuts and we'll all be good. <laughs> That's the purpose of this whole bee madness, I think. Except for the fact, gotta raise some gorgeous honey for you guys out there in internet land. So we've just snuck next door to show you, this is me, me, me neighbour's apricot trees. So he's a he's an apricot grower, so hey, you what, they're not bad neither, these apricots. He's had a, got his drying green up the back there, and they're doing, they doing their thing, which is pretty cool. But anyway, this is what the leaves are gonna be like in about another week. You see, he's done his zinc spray a bit earlier than me, because he's a bit he's a bit more enthusiastic, the young fella. Well, he's younger than me, and fitter. So anyway, as you can see, if you never see through here, this is what they're gonna, see all the leaves that have been burnt off, so. Then they'll all fall off, and we'll have nice naked trees. So, cool. I reckon that's the go. As you can see, apricot growers don't have to get too fussed about their ground cover. So you can see the different um, management needs of different crops. Like these guys have got stone fruit, so you don't have to like keep the ground so clean. So that's why you can see a nice lot of grass and a bit of ground cover. And if you had your shoes off, you'd find out you have a hell of a lot of prickles here in the Riverland. You wouldn't walk out here in the bare feet. Talking about walking in your bare feet, there was this cool thing that they were talking about. Taking your shoes off and walking on the earth without any shoes on to connect your body to the planet. Which I thought was kind of cool. But the only problem is to walk on the earth in the Riverland without any shoes on, you wouldn't be able to do it because you get your bloody feet full of prickles. Unless you're one of them Indian dudes on the nail mat thing bed. What's that called when they do that? When they walk on a nail bed. That's called something cool. Something. Anyway, I'm not clever enough to do that. But I guess you could walk on the track. So, anyway. <laughs> anyway, have a look over here. So we've got grass. I digress yet again. We've got grass in the stone fruit paddock. And as you can see, we've got beautiful, clean grass, no grass, because otherwise you can't get the silly blooming armors off the ground. <laughs> so, but anyway, um, apparently, apparently there's a bit of confusion about what a prickle is. So I'm not really sure how to explain a prickle, but we could go and show you one. Maybe I'll jab the cameraman with one and he goes, whoa. So we've got a couple of prickles here in the Riverland. We've got, what do we got? We got cowthrops, which are probably number one. They came with the roads. We've got uh, three corner jacks, which are cowthrops cousins. And we've got these other horrible, very bloody hell, what were they called? They saw something else horrible with great big spiky bits. I don't try to get too many, and burr weed or something. My favorite, innocent weed. I think this got its nickname because if you went out rolling around in the grass with your girlfriend and she come back, she had some of this on her back, she wasn't so innocent. <laughs> no, no, that was an attempt at a joke, wasn't it? Anyway, I don't know, I can't think of any other names for it. What other prickles have we got? Too many to mention, probably. I'll tell you one thing for free, we can grow prickles without any effort in the Riverland. You don't get bloody too much out of that. If they ever fix, wonder if we could harvest that shit, we could get some oil out of it or something. Anyway, there you go, that's it for me.
Oh, crap, have you come to rescue me from this horrible job? Oh, here, take this, you. <laughs> take it away. Take it away from me. Oh, my Lord, this is terrible. I've only been here for a day and a bit, and I'm already exhausted. Anyway, this is the joys of winter. If I'm not painting bee boxes and trying to get ready for the spring, I'm trying to get myself pruned. I don't know, I think both jobs are pretty ordinary, but I think painting boxes is a lot easier. It's a light little chainsaw, but it gets jolly heavy after a while. So we're what about, I don't know, a couple of weeks after the zinc spray, so the leaves are all starting to fall off. <sighs> and the joys of it all, so a bloke has to wander through and make a bit of a track, as you can see. I'll give, well, you can see up here, got a bit of trouble getting your tractor through this orchard. And if you look in the next row, or the row that I've just come down, you probably get, you can see that I can get through a bit easier, so. <sighs> One thing about almond growing, you don't have to prune them, but if you don't prune them, eventually the place gets in an awful tanglement. So, then you pop glasses out of your tractor cab and all sorts of madness. Back in the day, we used to have no cabs, so it didn't matter. We used to just duck under the branches and shit, but are you really going to make me keep on going on? Hopefully I'll run out of fuel in a minute, and then I'll have to go up to the ute at least. What have we got in here? Oh, a little bit longer. Oh, God. <sighs> anyway, I'll put my ears back in so I don't go completely deaf. Well, it's a terrible job, honestly. Oh. I reckon that's nearly about enough excitement of that. Goodness gracious me, a little bit of that goes a long way. Oh God. Anyway, oh, on to some other real work. <laughs> so this is the fun of the winter project in the almond orchard, trying to get things tidied up. So it's a, bit, it's a bit of a panic on because the blossom will be here before we know it. And you know what that means? The bees will be out flying and there'll be stuff going on everywhere. And then we're into it again for another year. So. Oh, I've got to get motivated even if it is only 10 degrees. At least it's not raining, that's something, that's normally the problem. Anyway, off we go. 